find the derivative of the following functions. In part a, we got y equals sine inverse 5x squared plus 3. We know that when we have sine inverse of ax, then its derivative is 1 over root 1 minus x squared. But if we have something other than x, a function of x, let's say u, then this will be 1 over root 1 minus e v square times derivative of u from the chain rule. If this or x, derivative of x would be 1, then we didn't multiply by 1. Using this formula, we can finish in one line. So the derivative is 1 over root 1 minus this u 5x squared plus 3 quantity squared okay that's on the bottom times u prime means derivative of this inside function so derivative of 5x squared plus 3 is uh, 10x plus 0 just 10x that's on the top 10x okay and we can put that here because 10x times 1 so I'm going to write 10x here and not write anything here and we are done do not cancel or simplify anything okay so let's move to the next question in part b we got b and c pretty much tangent inverse okay we know that tangent inverse formula tangent inverse of u is 1 over 1 plus u square since this is a function of x we need to multiply by u prime okay from the chain rule using this formula for part b okay for part b so let, let me okay uh, in part b let me write down answer y prime equals this 5 times something this 5 survives tangent inverse of u is 5 times 1 over 1 plus u square u means this square root 3x minus 1 that is square in fact here square and e square root can be cancelled 1 over 1 plus u square times derivative of u okay that's take some steps so i'm going to write derivative of square root of 3x minus 1 in the next step this 5 is in fact on the top so 5 over here if you like to simplify we can cancel in that way that leaves 1 plus 3x minus 1 and 1 minus 1 can be cancelled just 3x so 5 over 3x here okay so we got 5 over 3x let me raise this little bit then times now we need to find derivative of square root of 3x minus 1 uh, square root means 3x minus 1 raised to 1 half oh that's the function raised to 1 half another chain rule so when we have a function raised to let's say 1 half or and when we find its derivative let me put it in this way u raised to 1 half when we find its derivative 1 half u 1 half minus 1 negative 1 half times u prime so I'm going to apply this rule here because this is square root means raised to 1 half so 1 half 3x minus 1 raised to negative 1 half times derivative of inside function u okay derivative of 3x minus 1 is just 3 and this is it uh, if you like to simplify everything in time so 3 and 3 cancel then we have 5 times 1 over 2 5 halves let me use the same color this is 5 halves oh x on the bottom as well 
and this negative exponent you can put on the bottom 3x minus 1 raised to positive 1 half and by the way positive 1 half means that's the square root of 3x minus 1 okay or you may live here unless you are asked to simplify and this is part b now part c is similar so let me risk because i don't have room here so part c we got tangent inverse of some function of x so we call that u okay so let's do that same formula no tangent inverse this one so y inverse is tangent inverse of u because we call that u inside function then that is 1 over 1 plus u squared times derivative of u ex sine x okay uh, let me rewrite here this is 1 over 1 plus this quantity is square if you like you can square it uh, I would just leave here e x sine x quantity square times now here is e x sine x prime so how do we do it that's not the way you might think some of you might think because this is a product e x sine x is a product and when we find derivative when we want to find derivative we must use product rule okay u dot v when we have a product rule u prime v plus v prime u so i'm going to apply that and finish this problem so here e x is u kind of sine x is v now this is times everything because we are going to get two terms so derivative of ex is ex leave v alone plus derivative of sine x is cosine x times ex or you, you can write ex at the beginning or times ex and you don't have to simplify you, you may leave here the best you can do is this thing goes on the top so here in these two terms we can factor ex out it's not necessary but i'm simplifying so that it, it looks better that's on the top one plus now we can square ex is square by the way ex is square is you multiply inside and outside exponent that's e to x it's not e x square some of you might think that way that's not the case like when you have x is square and three that's 2 times 3, 6. Okay, so here e raised to 2x and sine x squared means sine square x. Okay, this is pretty much sine x quantity square, final. 